Hello everybody, ICB Slayer here, and welcome back to Dread Delusion. Now today we're going to be picking up right where we left off, uh, and finishing up, I guess, what is the tutorial? So I have been playing this a bit on my own as well, when I'm not recording. And dear god, this is fun as hell. I love this, it feels like Oblivion. Or Morrowind, or like, you know, one of those older, retro, uh, fucking games. I believe this is the lockpicking section. To progress, you must unlock this door. You will need a lockpick to begin. You should find an ample supply next to me. When picking a lock, there's always a chance you will fail, and the lockpick will break. To pick locks more easily increase your lock ping skill mechanical locks are not the only se the only secretly security measure you will come across there are, there's an art to disguising secrets through magical means where's the lock picks he said there'd be ones next to him where are they oh there's a shielding potion all right I don't think I have any lockpicks, buddy. Oh, wait, I do. Oh, I saw I got, I saw I got a six. All right. Basically, the door should be flying open, because I have a number I got. Okay, what do you have to say? In this room, the candlesticks on the wall have been enchanted to seal a secret passageway. To dispel them, you will need enough lore skill. The incantation will also deplete your mana slightly. A single passageway may need several switches, so always be mindful of your surroundings. Alright. Boop. Oh. Boop. Oh. Something has changed. Yeah, it's the fucking door in front of me. Can I break this? No. There are some very interesting things here. What's this? Status. Your current stats represent the three stats. Health, mana, and stamina. To restore your stats, rest in a bed or drink a potion. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. There's no, like, easy healing or recovery of stamina. So we're gonna be trying to, uh... Find beds as much as possible. Oh. Oh. That drawbridge, though. I forgot that happened. That's actually really cool. I didn't get a good look at that the first time I came up here. That's really cool. As you approach, the Inquisitor takes in a deep breath of air. Do you smell that prisoner, 17? Uh. Engine grease? He's six said, "These Inquisition ships run off, run on odorless, cheap magic, or cipher magic. State of the art form of what magic? State of the art from those buffoons at the Iridit Academy." <laughs> no, I was actually talking about. He breathes in. Mushroom spores. He turns to you, beaming, a beaming smile across his face. I've never seen this many mushrooms in my life. Such wide stocks, such health, healthy gills. He takes a long breath. Uh, and such a potent, and such potent spores. We have mushroom forests back home in Lund Lundel. But nothing like this. I got a quest. Damn fine tea. He waggles a finger at you while turning his gaze back to the mush back at the mushrooms. Prisoner seventeen, if you get back alive, remind me to get a batch of sky sky shrooms, sky shroom tea, for my wife. They make they make it here in the. Anurik Isles. 
And I hear and I hear it's to die for. Uh okay. He slapped you on the shoulder. That that's damn good of you, prisoner. But uh but where are my manners? He holds out his hand in greeting. Inquisitor Ignavis of the twelfth Inquisition Inquisition Inquisitorial Tribunal. God, brain cannot read these words right now. I am sorry. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, shake his hand firmly. He grips your hand with an equal firmness. I see I'm in good company, prisoner. He points the fortress ahead. That is blinding light. That is the blinding light. The fortress of Vela Kalos. Kalos. Vela Kalos. I d I'm still trying to figure out how to pronounce her name, even though I've beaten this part of the game. <laughs> the leader of the Dark Star Mercenaries. The High Confessor told me you'd be joining the assault, and not a moment too soon. We need all the help we can get. I've sent all my agents, but so far none of none have reported back. We expected heavy fighting, but it seems those Darkstar ruffians are a tougher bunch than we gave them credit for. Your orders are to capture Vela alive. Uh, a tall order, I'll admit, but I think you're up for the job, prisoner. So, any questions? Uh, I guess I'll get going. His smile beams. Uh, that's the spirit, prisoner. I'm sure you'll make short work of those ruffians. And when you're done, be sure to check in with me after the mission. I've taken quite, a, quite an interest in these Honoric Isles of late, and I'm sure I can fill you in on plenty of useful tidbits. I'll probably be, uh, using him for some information later. He'll be a good info dump. Alright, what are you? What do you want? This base camp is used for staging... This base camp is used as a staging area, or staging ground, by our Inquisition agents. It was highly, it was highly useful for them to brush up on their skills before they all went and got themselves slaughtered by Villas mercenaries. We would recommend using the training dummies to practice your swordplay. It may, it may marginally increase the time between now and your inevitable demise. I see. Oh. Bit of lag there, what the hell? Return home! A teleportation spell that transports the caster to the last crystal point touched. Though widely used by sco by scholars, some still prefer to walk. They, co they claim the chance of being in incorrectly teleported off a cliff is not, is not negligible. Ah. Oh, yes. The chance of being teleported off the cliff. Uh, beds. Resting in beds recovers your health, mana, and maximum stamina. Beds can be cheaply rented at inns. You may also find unattended beds throughout the world. However, some are unsafe and will... and you will be taking a chance by resting in them. That's fair. Uh, crystal points. Crystal points... Restore your mana, your mana. Use the home spell to return to the last crystal point visited. You will also... You will also appear at the last used crystal point when loading the game. Ah. So these are just the save point, basically. Alright, let's sleep. Save again. Get all of our stats back. Okay, what's this? Blocking and parrying. Hold block to re to reduce incoming dam incoming enemy damage. If you time the block just as the enemy attack lands, you will parry it. Successful parries negate all damage and will stagger the enemy. Blocking and parrying are not possible when your stamina is empty.
Ah, damn it. Ha, parry. Ha ha. Alright. Let me just have basic attack dummies. Yeah, we're not gonna have high attack. Also, I'm out of stamina. Yeah, our highest attack is six. Yeah, we're not we're not dealing high damage. Luckily, we're not in an area with like extremely hard enemies. See that looming fortress? It struck fear into the hearts of many who were braver and stronger than you. Than you, stranger. It was made in the god in the god war. It was the uh, apostatics named it. Some so the apostatics named it the blinding light to to ridic ridicule the gods they planned to butcher. Ironic that it should fall into the hands of someone so blinded by ambition. And zeal. For Vela is has claimed it in pursuit of her own twisted heaven. The blinding light now turns its guns towards the faithless souls who who made it. Her spectral eyes glisten. Tell me, stranger, if a hated enemy stood between you and your most cherished ideal, would you strike them down? Would you have the arrogance to take a life in pursuit of of your fantasy? Mm. I'm gonna go with no, because that sounds really fucking stupid. Still, I fear that that in a world like this, such a heart will only see you dead in a gutter by a sword of someone far less scrupulous. Still, you've piqued my curiosity, stranger. I'll have my eye on you. Alright. We're just gonna save so I never have to go through that dialogue again. Uh, what's over here? You know, there's a lot of exploration in this game, and you know any anytime there's like an off path, there's, yep. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need to sneeze. Some ammo. All right, that's a that's a pick. Eye of Pegasus. The fl a flower shaped oddly like an eyeball uh, can be used for as an alchemy ingredient. Named after the legendary god Pegasus, this herb is used. It is well known for its healing properties. And is used in medicine across the Epistatic Union. Ah. I see. Very odd. So the Epistatic Union killed their gods, but still uses things named after them and shit. What fucking psychopaths? That's a very weird looking walker thing. And what the hell is that? I have many questions about all of these. Oh, hey, it's that, uh, Jitter Seed. There's, uh, what is this? Poison! A deadly poison that can be applied to weapons. After coating your equipment with this intoxic, in, intoxic sub substance, all attacks will poison enemies for a limited time. Oh. So it's kind of a fuck you to your enemies. That's nice. Don't we all love having a fuck you to the enemy? I love coding weapons and poisoning games. That That's just a fucking badass way to fight. I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna go to these side paths before I go to the, towards the center. Because I feel like these side paths are gonna have, yep, goodies. Uh, and a drop pod? Some gold. Some coins, rather. They don't call it gold. I don't know what the hell it is. Is it, like, just metal coins? Like, normal coins? I don't know what their money is called. Alright, hello. Oh, great, they have shields. 
as if my lack of sword skill isn't already enough of an issue, I have to deal with fucking shielders. Oh god, lag. Jesus fuck. What happened there? Get fucked. Asshole. Give me the coin. Give me the healing potion. Give a fuck yourselves. I'm imagining I need, like, a spell to break these. Because they have the same kind of symbol on those. Uh, but they're a different symbol. So, do I just do a spell on those? I'm confused. I'm just gonna assume I'm going to need a spell. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, Paradox. Paradoxicus. Uh, an impossible flower that seems to shift between different shapes can be used as an alchemy ingredient. This herb seems to defy the very, per the very principles of reality, often appearing differently depending on how the object is deserved. On how it is deserved. Observed. Blah. Blah. English. English is failing me. Stamina potion, gonna need those. This next part is kind of long. I forget this area, but I also know it's very long. I forget the entire area because I've actually rather beyond this part in my other playthrough. And it's been a few days, and my brain is not memorizing the entire map as I go. Which I should be starting to memorize the map. Because, fun fact, you don't get a map in this game until way later. Like, I still haven't gotten a map on my character. But I know you can get it. I have looked that up. I have looked up if there's a fucking map you can get. And there is. Oh, and hello. Lockpicks! Oh yeah, more of these guys. Dodge arrows. Dodge arrows. Ah, damn it. I'm gonna pick your buddy. Woo! Dodge, 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 dodge. Ha, get fucked. I am the stricken god. Potion up, real quick. Gosh, I hate fighting long range fight, long range attackers. They're ridiculous. I okay, let's go over here and get some more of this plant. Starting to remember where the fuck I am. I'm pretty sure it's if I go. For some reason, those stairs over there don't have actual hitbox, which confuses the fuck out of me. <laughs> For many, many reasons, it confuses the fuck out of me. But, uh, I believe there is another way we can get in. At least to, like, a secret path. I believe. Hopefully I have enough, uh, skills to deal with it. I really need to increase my, like, strength skills and shit. <laughs> Dispatch these idiots faster. So I need to find more delusions. Get fucked, you little bitch. Are you shitting me? I've been slashing into you this entire time. Oh, wait, probably because my fucking stem is out. Get fucked. You bitch. Alright, now, how the fuck do I get in here? Ah, oh, lockpicking. Oh, so I got a six. Hell yes. I got a delusion. I got a glimmer of delusion. And what's in here? Iron ore. A decent qual a decent quality ore that can be used to upgrade rusty uh, rusty weapons. Most of the isle's mines were abandoned after the God War, 
but the ore remains there for the take. Maybe I can upgrade this fucking sword and not have it rusty? That'd be nice. There's a paradox book. Yep, plant that keeps changing fucking forms. I actually got to see it that time. It changed right before our eyes. Union now considers what? The apostatic union considers me what now? Where where do I see what the fuck that means? Where do I see what the fucking apostatic union considers me? I don't know how the fuck I see that. Apostatic union accepted. The apostatic union is the former. Oh, I see. There's different things. All right. So the apostatic union now accepts me because I've been dealing with enemies of them. Alright. I'm just gonna heal real quick, because Jesus fuck. That was not a fun fight. Alright, let's get our asses the fuck down here. And I guess we're going through the main door. Let's hope we can actually, uh, actually do this and not... Does this have a hitbox this time, or is this just not... Ex Why did it have a hitbox this time? Game? You wanna load? Last time I tried to use this fucking thing, it didn't have a hitbox, which confused me. Now it's confusing me more, because now it has a hitbox? There we go. Haha, uh -huh, I win. Fuck you. Okay, so that's some kind of trap I just disabled. Just disable all these traps as I go. Do I have to disable every single one of these? Oh shit, I'm out of lockpicks. Guess I'll just jump them. And have to remember that those ones are disabled. That's weird. Maybe it was a bug and they fixed that. But now it doesn't just not have a hitbox for some reason. Door is barred from the other side. Alright. Am I going to be able to get back up there, or is this just a one-way trip? Alright. I have made it in. Oh, hey, look. A delusion. You embrace the delusions. Have I got enough delusions to actually do something? Yes, I have a delusion. Alright. Um... Actually, we have a lot of strength. We just don't have a good weapon. Um, okay, I guess we'll upgrade our Guile, which will, should increase our maximum stamina. Uh, a cluttered desk. An assortment of maps, notes, and diagrams. Cut, clutter the table, de detailing the planned exploits of the Dark Star mercenaries. One in particular catches your eye. An expedition to the cursed underlands far below the Skylands. They went to the bottom. Old contraptions. You recognize these old contraptions? These old machines are God War relics. Inoperable and mostly useless. Such strange contraptions are rarely seen outside the Clockwork Kingdom these days. Well, we can visit the Clockwork Kingdom at a later date. So. We're going uh, this way. Oh, great. I'm out of lockpicks. Oh, great. Do I have to do something to open this? Okay, I might have to figure out how the fuck that opens. I wish I could figure out how to open those. Okay, let's go going this way. Hello, Dark Star Mercenary fucker. Die, please. Thank you. Thank you for the money. And the coin. 
And dear god, I need to increase my stamina again. Fucking stamina potion now. No, you're not shooting me. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself and die. Drop your shield, bitch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I got a lockpick. Nice. Maybe I can actually fucking lockpick that thing. Double this chest. Beer. A mug full of frothy beer. Beer is cheap in the Skylands, mostly derived from for fermented mushroom pulp. It's exported to the far corners of the Apostatic Union. Huh. They really thought their lore for literally everything. It really does feel like a fucking Elder Scrolls game. Where the lore runs deep. And everything has an explanation. Every part of the world has some story to it. Oh, hello. You're a lore thing. Imagining there's another one of those somewhere. Oh, there's that door. Or the other side of the door. Oh, here. Uh oh. Lag. Fucking hell. Work, please. Why are you so laggy? I fixed you. Okay, yeah, that's just open to the door to the other side of that. Alright. So now we have uh, multiple ways to go there. There's something back here? Yes, there is. There's loot. Coins. Hopefully I can buy things more effectively. I have, like, no charm in this character, though. I'm gonna have to put some levels into charm. Alright. Um. We're going to... See about using this. What are you? Where are you going, Prisoner 17? Are you attempting to run from your duties? Uh, if you must recuperate, the lift... The lift next to me will take you back to the Inquisition camp. But Villa is is still in the fortress, as we strongly suggest you go back inside and find a way to reach the battlements up above. Uh, I will. But first, I am out of time for this video. So, so I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you enjoyed the ranks this CP Foundation, do shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video, live stream, or the next. Peace, guys.